Hey friends, I am working on a challenge accepted challenge today and we are doing the Craft Plus Community Challenge, which is on Facebook and I think there's a blog as well. And what it reads is, hello crafters and welcome to November. Whether you love them or hate them, we hope you'll embrace the month of bugs with this month's challenge of Bugs Life. Let this gorgeous mood board created by Amanda Hall inspire you. So lots of buggy things. Um... I see some green, you know, I see all the, uh, you see what I see, never mind. You see what I see. Anywho, so now the deal with this thing is that craft is supposed to be the star of the show. Now, I do not have a tremendous amount of um, cardstock. I have some, but not a lot, and I didn't seem to have craft, but what I did have, let me show you how vintage this bad boy is. It is a basic gray paper pack and it's called Basics Craft. So I figure it's craft, it's craft enough. Um, and yeah, I opened it for the first time today. It's from 2009, which is, yeah, probably time to open it up. Mm -hmm. So I chose this piece right here. It looks kind of like a scuffed up pegboard to me. And I'm also gonna be using my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for this and, and that's because it is full of Halloween looking goodness. I have these pieces left and it's mostly a simple stories kit. Now somewhere right around here, where is it? Oh, I have this photo here and I'm gonna be scrapbooking this one. It's my son and his girlfriend and the first jack-o'-lantern they carved for their new house. So what I'd like to do first, if I can, I'd like to grab whatever scrap papers I have so I have this one, it's really cute. The background isn't very Halloween-y, so I'll go like that. What I don't like is this orange isn't bright orange, but we're gonna get through it. Now I also have these scraps, which are pretty darn fun. We have black and white and we have the stars and we have a little argyle and we have text. So let's concentrate there. Now, since we have to do the buggy thing, I have got legit the most vintage wood veneer is from a Scraptastic kit. And these are the last of the Spideys I have from that kit. So I have three, which works. And I also have this little web. So we're going to make sure to get them on the page. And yeah, looks like all their little leggies are still attached. Now I also have this cute spider web here. And it's in black glitter, so that will bring a little pizzazz. And this is a set of thickers called Spooky. Pick them up at Tuesday morning in 2018. So always a good idea to get that stuff used. So I know I'm gonna have this so far. Like I said, this back piece is just kind of meh. So I think I like the idea of bringing in this, we'll call it a spooky floral. We know it's not spooky. Now, like I said, I don't like that the pumpkin is orangey like bright orange and this is more of a muted orange but that's okay i'm looking at the brads that i have to go with this and they're not like the orange is totally off i might be able to use those cream ones let's see what else we have if anything else will work for the vibe i do have this washi that has these little cats on it this isn't so great although it does work kind of with the mood board. So maybe, hmm, if I literally, if I got rid of this floral and went more with this black and white, and I don't know, I'm trying to make this work and use the stuff I've already cut without having to go in, see, nyeh, I don't know. I mean, it does bring it together just a little bit better. Let me look at these pieces. Now, this is a really great Charlie Brown shirt. Oh, look at how cute those guys are. They're so cute, and it looks like them. I might have to cut them out. That might be really, really cute. Maybe I can go kind of that way. Do you guys think that's cute? I think it's cute, and I also like the houses. If I cut these giant houses out in that, that could be cute. But look at this that I have as well. I have this boo word. That might be fun with the giant houses. Okay, I like kind of where this is going. So maybe I'll go less away, I mean more away from that. Now what do we have in our chipboard? Oh, I have a spider web again, 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 again. Okay, and look at that cute little scully. But we're really concentrating on the buggies on this. Okay, what I'm gonna do 
I don't think there's any Spideys in here. I also have these um, these die cut pieces, but I was concentrating on the kit first. That was my big, big concern with this. And finally, I know I'm all over the place. I'm getting my ideas. Oh, there's a Spidey. This is the Simple Stories Happy Haunting sticker sheet. We do have a cute little buggy spider there. That could kind of look like spider webs being spun across. If I do my thinking kind of the way I go with that. I do like these little baddie bats. And one of the reasons why it's like you can't really use them on much except for Halloween stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can get that star in somewhere else or even the candy. But, you know, some things get super specific. All right. So what I think I'm going to do so I'm already looking at this. It looks like the band design. Let's just go with that. I'm probably going to ink in some of my edges in this VersaFine Claire. And oh gosh, I can't even see which color it is anymore. I think it was like morning mist or something like that. I don't know. I keep a brown and a dark charcoal on my desk all the time because those are the things I use the most. So I'm going to ink some stuff in. Map my photo. Um, see, I might not even do the full band because I know I want this craft to be the star of the show and I'm going to have those big elements and craft really is supposed to be like the ta-da of this. So maybe I won't do the whole band. I'll just do that. I can get some of this into. It's going to be cute. Let me map my photo twice with this. Use some of these pieces and I'll be back when I have a little bit better of an idea what I'm doing. Okay, give me a minute. All right, so what I have going so far is I have the craft paper, as we know. I triple matted my photo with scraps and I cut out these pieces right here from the um, cut apart sheets and they're so cute. So I do like the little houses because this is their first house and the little ghosties I have representing my son and his girlfriend. So that's cute. Now, what I do want to do is get these little bats on um, as part of the shelf idea for this layout. I mean, they're just kind of floating along on this big uh, 12 by 12. So, oh, and guys, my other pair of scissors is missing somewhere. I know I cut a tag off of a shirt with it the other day, and I think I did something with it. I have no idea. I don't know. It's missing. So I'm going to start with this um, washi right here to do the starting part of the shelf. And I'm just going to use these handy dandy little marks on the paper, these little pegboard looking things, because why not? They're already there. Uh oh, my little ghosty is stuck. Oh gosh. All right. So that's going to be my first part of my shelf. I think that's pretty darn easy. My washi is going up a tiny bit. Oh gosh. All right, we're having issues. We are. Now, I think I also want to pop up my cute little ghosties up on a little bit of foam because, you know, that's representing these two. And on this as well, let's see. Do the little, oh. I was seeing if these cute little guys can go kind of where the kitties are without bludgeoning the kitties because we don't want to bludgeon them. That would be bad, right? I think so. But we are layering up both of those pieces. So let me make sure that that's about equal. Okay, equal enough, equal-ish. All right, just so I had something for this stuff to rest on, it really needed something to rest. So let me get some foamy bits. I'm gonna go ahead and put these down Kind of like that. And remember, I need to get my spideys in. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this corner piece because I don't have anywhere for it to go. But I can have my cute little spideys kind of walking across and leaving the page. That might be a little gross and icky because we have this blank space here. So I think I'm going to do that. Let me get this stuff on. <sighs> figure out if I want to use boo for my title or do I want to and see, I don't like the gold gold although this boo is pretty good too so I got to make sure what I want to do for my title and I'll be back in a jiffy quick check-in time I did go ahead and run that cute little piece there so it looks like a little spider web and popped this guy up on a little fun foam 
Now this little ghost has a pink bow. And I thought my son could have himself a little spidey bow. Because sadly enough, I find that to be hilarious. So he has a little spidey bow. Cute. And oh gosh. So let's see. That is cute. And now I do have these kind of wood veneer crafty color spideys kind of crawling up my page this way. Let's get this guy on half under the house, half touching the photo kind of deal. You know, get a little creepy with it. Cute creepy. I mean, there's pink on here. I mean, how creepy can it be? All right. So we have our little spideys creeping along and maybe that spider is going to go eat that one. We don't know. We're just going to see how that goes. We have the little double shelf here, including the one with the bat. So that's cute. Now, do I like any of these pieces? I think I like the little black stars, but that's not very spooky. A bat isn't spidey. That would have worked great. I don't know. Let's, let's put it up there and see what we think. Let's see what we think up in that corner. It's glittery. It's black. Will it take away? Or is it just going to be like an adding thing? Now, I do know the moment I put it on here, you guys are going to be like, leave it on there. It's black glitter. All right. Come on. It's grabbing all these little bits. I think I'm going to let it have a tiny bit of a border. A tiny bit of a border going this way. There we go. All right. Yes, it's cute enough. It can stay. So... With that in mind, I need some of this black glittery bits in a couple more places. Maybe my title can be Boo. I mean, I do have ghosties on here too. I think I need to have something behind it if I have it there. Should I have something behind it regardless? Let's see how the orange looks. Do you guys like the orange behind it? Or I'm trying to see what my options are. I also can put white behind it. I think the orange. Let's go ahead and just do that. All right, I'm going to cut myself a little piece. Can it work that way? Yeah, it can. Cut myself a little piece. We'll put it on there. Um, I also want to go through my handy dandy little bin here, see if there's anything else that I like that I think would add to this. And we'll finish it up together. And see, that looks really cute. We'll finish it up together in a jiffy. Alrighty, let's see where I went with this. I found this Hey Boo, and I thought that was ever so cute that I could add there. And then I thought I would just do one little embellishment cluster on the bottom here as well, because I like to shake it up sometimes. And this uh, ephemera kit, die cut kit, whatever you call these things, came with lots of cute little label bits. So I like that. And I like this little bit here. You know, I, I was so inconsistent this time. I inked part of them. I didn't ink part of them. I don't know. Anywho. This has this cute little I put a spell on you, which I thought would be cute for a boyfriend-girlfriend kind of layout. Let's go ahead and pop that across. And let's see. Oh. Come on, little guy. Pop that little bit across there. So I have some dimension. Ah! I am like so butterfingery today. It's weird. I don't know why that is. Sometimes my hands just do not want to hold on to things. All right, so I want that little pink pumpkin to show a little bit. The reason why is I like the pink that's in a couple of the places, so I'm kind of making sure to represent that just a little bit more. I think I'll put this little jack-o'-lantern in the bucket right underneath. I think that's very cute. And this might give me the opportunity to see about putting one of these little arrow pieces in. I think I can do that. That might be cute like that. Might be cute. Oh, so I would like to have it right there where the words are, but it wouldn't make as much sense. So we're just going to go like that and be thankful and like it and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, one last check at these little bits. This is mostly floral. Some of this is so cute. You know, I was taking a look through these pieces because I'm almost done with my Halloween stuff and almost done with my how, how to kill a kit with style and all that. And I think I'll be separating out like these orange pieces 
that just have like banner or the gray. I think I'll put those in my color drawer because they're so incredibly usable. I don't know. I'll think about it. Like, look at this. Like, you can so use this anytime. And I love that about things. I like when collections do that. So, you know, you have your super theme stuff, clearly, like Fright Night or this with a witch's hat. But then you also can, oh, look, I came for the booze. You also can go ahead and use things other times of the year. So I thought I'd grab out some Nuvo. And this is the kind that kind of does that little, like, soft serve kind of drop on it. My favorite Nuvo, bar none, is the kind that, um, does this even need it? It's the kind that um, dries with that clear finish. I think that is so awesome. Okay, one, two, trying to make three different sizes. Three, okay. And I'm gonna tap the desk in a second to make that little snow cone thing or the soft serve ice cream thing go down a little bit. Now I have this cute little spidey right here. So let's accentuate where that spidey's hanging out. And I think we can probably have them coming down because spideys come down in their web just fine. And then, I don't know, do we need them in any other spot? They're kind of, actually, I don't even need them there. I just wanted to use some Nupo. Yeah, that's like full disclosure. Let's see. I don't use Nuvo all that often as enamel dots, but sometimes you gotta get your supplies out. I love to use Nuvo through stencils and stuff. Or, you know, just to scrape it on a page because I like the glossy sheen kind of thing you get. All right, I'm really gonna have to tap these down. I'll show you what I mean in just one second. Cause this looks like a black chocolate chip. Okay, so I have that on there. This is really gonna complete my page for the most part. You know what I was looking for? My black mist is missing. I was looking for the black mist. I thought that might be really fun. Maybe I will see if I have any dark orange. I know I have orange. I don't know if I have dark orange. But I did have um, Tattered Angels Mist and Black Magic, and that's now missing. So I'm going to have to go on a hunt to find some black mist soon. Hmm. All right. I'm going to get some slatty bits on this and I'll show you the finished product in one second. All right, so the mist I ended up using, it is by Adirondack Color Wash and Sunset Orange. And it is so incredibly saturated that it's a little scary because you know if you get it on something, it's never coming off. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of flicking beneath where the nouveau dots are, you know, the flicky flicky, to get them to flatten out into nice little round circles. And if they still want to act like little... Um, soft serve ice creams if they're rude then I'll just push it down with a slightly damp fingertip not a big deal although for Halloween I don't even mind that it looks a little bit like claws I think it looks kind of cool all right that is it for this layout I hope you like what I came up with I will leave a link down below for scrappy Kathy's channel if she's able to jump in this week you will see what she's come up with and if not this is it for me today, doing the Craft Plus Challenge for Challenge Accepted. Bye, friends.